everyone, my name is Kara. Welcome to Anchor of Hope Design. For today's video, I'll be showing you four Mickey DIYs made with Dollar Tree products. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. For this project, you'll need one bunch of flowers, two packs of salt and pepper shakers, one pack of sticker gems, twine, a butter dish, and some paint. I use some chalk paint and crafter's paint. The first thing you're going to want to do is to trim your flowers. You might want to trim them different lengths if you want them to stand up differently. You can always cut them shorter, so I would suggest just cutting them first and then you can adjust them later. For each of the glass salt and pepper shakers, you'll need three sticker gems. You could use two of one size for the ears and a bigger size for the face of Mickey, but I didn't have that, so I just used them all the same. I think it worked out really good, and I ended up hot gluing them just to make sure they stuck to the glass. After you've hot glued them, the next thing you're going to want to do is to paint. I just painted right over the stickers, and it worked out fine. They didn't move because they were hot glued. This is the Waverly chalk paint. I got it from Walmart in the color, I believe it's antique white. And um, I didn't get it from the Dollar Tree, but that was okay. I know I'll use it for other projects. So this chalk paint is really good. I really like it. The next thing I did was paint the butter dish. I ended up painting the inside of it just because the salt and pepper shakers were slipping around a little bit and I felt like that painting it inside was gonna give it a little bit of attraction. So I did that and then I painted the outside. After everything was painted and dried, I went back over with a dry sponge brush and just kind of did some brown paint over it to make it look a little bit distressed. The next step, there's several different ways you could do this. You could use the tray part of the butter dish, flip it upside down and glue the top part to it if you wanted to. I tried that and it just wasn't tall enough. So I ended up using these little blocks that are from the crafter's corner at the Dollar Tree. I just hot glued them. It almost looks like a bathtub, but I think it came out really cute. And then I just painted the little blocks the brown color and it ended up being the perfect height for what I was looking for. I always remember growing up, my mom would tell me, be resourceful. I didn't have a paintbrush, and so I ended up just using a stem from the flower bunch that we had, and I just used that, dipped it in paint, and used it as a paintbrush. It was the perfect size to cover up the little stickers that I made in the shape of Mickey's face, and then I just took a sponge brush and kind of painted around the Mickey's face with that brown paint just to give it a little dimension. I thought also about sanding it down to where the glass would shine through, but I really like how this turned out. In hindsight, I wish I would have picked red flowers for this project, but the Dollar Tree had these pink ones and I thought they would work fine, which they did. It actually came out better than what I was expecting it to, but I think the red would have tied in with Mickey a little better, but either way, I like how it came out. For this project, you'll need two bags of the ball filler decor, one with the bigger balls and one with the smaller balls, um, one package of salt and pepper shakers, twine, some wooden dowel rods, and some chalk paint. The first thing I did was just hot glued the small balls onto the one big ball just to make Mickey's silhouette. And there were actually two different color brown. I didn't notice that when I was in the store, um, but underneath the lighting, you can really see it. So if you really wanted it to match, I would suggest maybe spray painting it the same color. But when you're just glancing at it, you can't really notice that they're two different colors. 
Then I just took one of the dowel rods, put some hot glue on it, and kind of centered it as best as I could. It's kind of hard because with it being wicker and wrapped, there's really no exact center, but I was able to get it in there as best I could and then just let it dry. Then I took one of those small blocks and glued it to the dowel rod just so that when I stuck it inside the salt and pepper shaker, it would stand up straight. And I took a little piece of twine, tied a bow. It was really simple. I think this would be really cute with some satin ribbon maybe or some black ribbon or red ribbon to kind of make it the Mickey colors but I kind of wanted it to look a little bit rustic, so that's why I went with the twine and the brown balls, but there's so many different variations you could do with this. Just play around with it and make it your own. And here's the final look. I think this would be so cute stuck in an artificial plant. It would just be so unexpected. I love it how it came out. For this project, you'll need a foam wreath, five bunches of flowers, two styrofoam circles, ribbon, and some hot glue. I ended up cutting the flowers first off of the stem, and I actually ended up trimming the stems shorter, but it's always better to cut them long first, and then you can trim later. You can't really add length, but you can always cut off. So I ended up using five bunches of these flowers, and that was plenty. You could probably do it more sparingly if you wanted but I kind of wanted mine to look really full then I just took these styrofoam circles and started in the center and kind of worked my way around um, and you'll see later on but one of the styrofoams I kind of mapped it out and then when I actually used it on camera I just flipped it upside down but you use the pattern that you like what if you want it more full or if you want them to not be as full it's going to be up to your personal preference one thing I will say about the Dollar Tree wreaths is they're not as flexible, if you will, as like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels wreath. They're definitely more tighter is the only word I can ex think to explain. But um, when I would put the flowers in there, I decided to put them in first, poke a hole, and then hot glue them because if not, I felt like they just wouldn't stick right. But once I decided to poke a hole in there first, they went in just fine. So you may not have this problem, but that's just something that I ran into. And then I just kind of worked my way around. I did like a, a cross and then a cross going the other way and then a cross going the other way and then filled in finally. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense, but it was pretty easy. I didn't really want to go in a circle. I wanted to do it this way just so that I could make it as even as possible. I will say one thing I've really learned about using these Dollar Tree crafts is to save everything because you never know what you could use. So to get the ears, which were the white styrofoam, to stick to the green foam wreath, I ended up sticking a stem of the flower bunch in there and then hot gluing it. I tried to hot glue it first and it wouldn't stay, but once I stuck that stick in there, it was able to kind of stabilize it a little better. So again, it didn't cost me anything more. It was just something that I already had. So I'm really glad my mom always taught me to be resourceful. Then I just used the black satin ribbon, fished it through, glued it together on the ends, and used that as a hanger. This came out so cute. Even my fiance Pokey was like, wow, babe, that looks really good. And I was like, yeah, thanks. It only cost me like $7 to make this. And for this last project, you'll need two bags of moss balls, one of the big moss balls, one of the small, a wooden dowel rod, some ribbon, and either two toothpicks or I ended up using two of the stems from the flowers that I had on hand. I just stuck them in there and then hot glued the smaller moss balls onto it. And then I pre-made a hole for the wooden dowel rod, hot glued that in. 
I think this would be really cute to do as a mini instead of adding a bow on the bottom like I did you could add a bow in between the ears and make it a mini mouse I think you could do this with pretty much any character you wanted. If you wanted to do Winnie the Pooh, it would be like red and yellow, or you know, whatever character you like, you could use those colors and then do your own variation. That's why I love doing these DIY crafts is, I may have an idea and you may like it, but then you want something a little bit differently and you can make it your own, just personalize it however you think it would look best. This one was basically a variation of the wood fillers. I just saw these moss balls and thought that would work perfectly because they were little small balls. So you could use anything. I mean, you could use, if you had some small styrofoam balls and then painted them whatever color you wanted. And here's the final project. I think this would look so cute in an outdoor planter. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more.